Whether you love them or loathe them, tattoos have been an enduring art form for millennia. These days, everybody from sorority sisters to rappers to grandparents is sporting ink. But how exactly do tattoos work anyway? To answer this, we have to consider the mechanical stuff and the biological stuff. So let's start with the mechanics. The essence of tattooing means injecting ink into a person's skin. And while you can do it the analog, stick and poke way with a manual needle and a prayer, the grand majority of tats are made with an electric needle. It looks like a combo of a dentist drill and a soldering iron, and also all of your nightmares and phobias. Or maybe you have a stronger disposition than me. Good for you. The three basic parts are a sterilized needle, a tube system for the ink, and a foot pedal that powers and controls the needles. These needles also have at least three sharp points for fine lines, and many more for shading. They are filled with ink and go about one millimeter into your skin to deposit the ink. Depending on the size and intricacy of the design, the needle can make these little punctures anywhere from 50 to 3,000 times. Again, depending on your tolerance for pain, this may sound like, wow, wow, that's entirely too many or it might just sound like a walk in the park. Whatever, that's on you, boo. Also, when you think of needle, you probably think of a syringe that you see at a doctor's office. But with tattoo needles, it's more like a fountain pen, extracting liquid from an inkwell and only releasing it once it hits the skin. Then a super fun physics phenomenon occurs. It's called the capillary effect. But before we get into that, we gotta talk about the biological stuff. Your skin has three layers, and tattooing involves the very top layer, called the epidermis, and the second layer, called the dermis. When someone is showing off their latest tat, you might think that the ink lives in the epidermis, but it's actually in the dermis, where skin cells are more stable, meaning that their ink will stay in place instead of spreading out all over the place. It's not crazy to believe that the process of tattooing involves damaging the skin. Your silent or not so silent screams are proof of that. Anytime you damage your skin, whether it's a scrape on the knee or getting a cute little mom etched into your arm. White blood cells rush to the area and try to eliminate any alien particles that are crashing the body party. Shout out Sierra! However, the particles in the ink are too big to be eaten by the white cells, so they just post up in your dermis for seemingly forever. This brings us back to the capillary effect which deals with molecules and attraction. Sometimes molecules, like people, are very attracted to specific things. In this case, the ink molecules are super into your skin and into being inside of it. Oh yeah. So just like when you clean up a spill and the liquid seems to get sucked into a paper towel, the ink is sucked down into your skin once the needle punctures it because of the molecule's intense attraction to it. Physics, how fun! Sadly, there are too many instances of tattoo disasters. If the ink isn't punctured deep enough to reach the dermis, the weak structure of the epidermis can't keep the ink in place, so it ends up looking a little blobby. Alternatively, if the ink goes too deep, you could end up with blurred lines. There's also a chance you could have a really bad reaction to the ink itself. Like tampons, tattoo ink isn't regulated by the FDA, and there are plenty of inks with shady ingredients in them, like dirt, pen ink, and soot. So if you're trying to avoid infections or an allergic reaction, best to ask your tattoo artist about the ink they use ahead of time. Many of you watching this already have gotten inked up, and many of you have thought about it at least once. All we can say is, you're gonna wanna be very sure about the tat you want because tattoo removal is expensive, painful, and can take a long time. However you choose to wear your skin, at least now you know what goes into the beauty and pain of tattoos.